Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share seven color page hacks that will help you to save a ton of time. Now, if you recently joined the DaVinci Resolve family, then you'll know that the color page can be very intimidating. But in this video, I'm gonna show you seven hacks that will get you up to speed in no time. Now, before we jump in, if you are visiting this channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Duan, it's do unto others what you want to do unto yourself. And on this channel, we talk all about DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in. The first thing that you want to do is set your color management and to do that go to your project settings, click on file, project settings and under project settings go to your color management and under color science choose DaVinci YRGB color managed and you can select save. Now what that would do is if you are importing footage from different cameras, DaVinci Resolve will automatically determine what input color to use for each clip. But if that doesn't work, you can always just right click on your clip and go to LUT and choose the camera that you filmed with. Now for the second hack, if you got footage that needs to be graded, whether it's log footage or not, you can just simply select auto balance and it will automatically do a color balance. You will notice though that it doesn't adjust any of these settings. So all of these settings still stays exactly the same. But if you do notice that the contrast is too much, you can always just reduce the contrast on the color page. Now for the third grade hack, we've got a feature called shot match to clip. Now, if you're working with different clips in your project, like for example, here we've got a clip that has a lot more yellow in it. And if we wanna match this clip, which got a lot more blues in it than the other one, we can simply select this clip and right click on the other one and say shot match to this clip and you'll see that it added a lot more yellow to this clip. So now when we go to the other shot, you'll see that the color balance is almost exactly the same. Now for the fourth hack, if you wanna white balance your footage, simply click on this eyedropper in the primary wheel uh, page and go to the point in your footage that represents true white. So this wall would represent true white and when I select that, you can see that it has automatically white balanced this shot. Next, we've got the pick black and white points. So with this, you would select the darkest point of your clip. So let's select that as my darkest point. And in addition to that, you also select the brightest point and that will automatically balance your shot. Next, we've got a really nifty feature that allows you to filter your clips to see which clips have been graded and which hasn't been graded. Simply go to this drop down menu over here and here you've got a whole lot of options where you can either select your graded clips and when you select that, all the graded shots will appear on the timeline. Now, if you do want to uh, select a different clip color, maybe you've selected uh, different colors for different clips, you can select that and those color clips will come up. Additional to that, we've also got uh, modified clips within the last one hour, two hours, three hours, and ungraded clips. So for every clip that still needs grading, if you select that on the timeline, you'll see all the clips that still needs grading. And for my last color hack, if you've got a whole bunch of shots that shot in the same area with the same color balance and you would like to group those shots so that when you adjust one, it also adjusts the other. What you need to do is just select all the clips and then go right click and select add in new group. Now you can rename this to anything. I'll just say room. And you can see with this green chain that that will indicate it is part of the same group. Up here under the clip drop down, there's four different options. Now, if you want to select all the clips, you can select group pre-clip. Now, if you want to do touch-ups and adjust levels and all of these different things, you'll see that it adjusts all of the clips. On top of that, if you want to adjust individual clips, you can select clip. And now if you adjust one clip, 
it won't affect the others. And then lastly, you can click the drop down and select group post clip. And this will allow you to add a final LUT to all the clips after you've done your color balance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.